Okay, this video is going to walk you through the assignment. The assignment is to open an image that is a large image, a high resolution image. So this cannot be an image that you've just downloaded off the internet, grabbed from the internet, because um, images that you grab off the web, web pages, are small resolution images because they're usually formatted for 72 pixels per inch, the size of your monitor. So I have an image here. In Photoshop, I know it's a large image because right at the top here, see this? It says 12.5%, which means that I'm zoomed way out. So at 100%, watch me get my zoom tool here, and I'll click. At 100%, you see, there is a lot of detail in this image, and I can zoom all the way up to 100%. And uh, grab the navigator and move around this image. You see this is a high resolution image. So this will be a nice image to print out on a printer with photo paper, a good photo printer, high resolution. So the assignment is to save this file in three different versions. One, a 3 by 4 to print out of your printer with the highest resolution possible so that you get a really good print. This will be important for your home photos, photos of your kids, things like that. Another version that is um, a low resolution version that you could use for a web page. And then the third way I want you to save this file is as a thumbnail for like a little tiny uh, preview uh, image that might be used as a button on a web page or something like that. So high resolution, low resolution, and a thumbnail. You're going to save this image three ways. And not this image, any image that you can, that you have. Probably the best thing to do is just be get an image off of your um, digital camera. Hopefully you already know how to do that. If you don't, bring your camera in to the class and I'll help you get an image off of your camera that's a high resolution image. So make sure your camera is set to the highest resolution. Okay, once you open it up in Photoshop, let's begin. First thing I'm going to do is follow Chris Orwig. I'm going to go to Image, Image Size. There it is. And now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do what he said. I'm going to uncheck Resample Image. Okay, I've unchecked Resample Image. And um, now I can no longer change my pixel dimensions up here. They're locked out. So um, this is a perfect moment for me. I can now change my width here and my height. My height, I'm going to say I want it to be 3 by 4, so I'll change that to 3. And that, change, that changes the width automatically to 4.5. Notice my resolution has jumped all the way up to 682. Okay. If I was to do it again and go, let's say, 2, uh, two by 3, my resolution's at 1,000. So uh, no matter, depending on how big I want to print it, if I wanted to do a poster size, let's say like 14 inches, my resolution drops all the way down to 146. So I can't do a poster sized image with this resolution image. My camera doesn't have as much as enough megapixels to do it. But in this case, all I want is a 3 by 4. So I change it to 3. This is 4. Resolution changes to 680 all because resample image is off. And you want to make sure constrained proportions was on when you started. So I click OK, and my image has changed. If I go back to it, you'll see that the images are now saved into memory. Okay, so I'm going to save, file, save as. I'm going to make sure that I have JPEG selected. Okay, and I have a folder for this already set. Image sizes, I have a folder, and I'm going to call this, for, I'm going to give it my name, Dan underscore high res. So I know it's a high resolution image as a JPEG, and I'll hit save. Okay, then you'll bring up this window, your JPEG options, quality, um, I'll say 7, baseline optimized, because this is a high resolution image. And, you know, maybe I want it to be high, a quality 9 for right now. 
because this is my high resolution version. So I'll click OK. Preview can be on and click OK. And now in my folder, I have my image ready to go. Okay, that's the high resolution version. Now for the low res. Okay, now I go back, image, image size, and this time I want to resample my image because I'm going to throw away pixels here. I'm going to be losing information. So 3 by 4 can stay the same, but this time I'm going to change my uh, image to, let's say, 72 pixels or 100 pixels. This time I'll do 100. Okay, 100 pixels. Notice that it's changed my pixel dimensions to 450 by 300. I click OK. And by the way, uh, bicubic best for smooth gradients. How about bicubic sharper best for reduction? That's what Chris Orwig recommends, so I'll do that. Click OK. And now my image is a lot smaller. Okay, 100% size. This will be perfect for my web page. And I'll say File. Save as, and I'll call this one low res. And baseline, I'll say standard this time, because this is low resolution, and quality 6. And I don't need a preview. That will lower my file size. OK. Click OK. I've got my low resolution image. I'm going to pause here and let the audio catch up with the video. Okay, um, now it's time for my thumbnail. Image, image size, and this time I want to make sure I have resample image on. And we're getting smaller, so bicubic, best for smooth gradients is appropriate. And this time, I'm going to, instead of changing the document size here in the window, I'm going to jump up and change it right here, total pixels. And I'll just say width 70. That changes automatically my height to 47 because I have constrained proportions on. And so 70 by 47 pixels. Um, click OK. And there's my thumbnail. Okay. So now I'll hit File, Save As, and call this Thumb. Right? That. And Save. Uh, image Options, Medium 6, Baseline Standard, No Preview. Click OK. And I have my thumbnail. So now in my folder, I have my three versions and my assignment is finished. High resolution, low resolution, and a thumbnail.